always interested in looking at new, innovative, and evidence-based ways of providing trauma services. So when the opportunity arose to apply for funding through the Public Health Agency of Canada, um, we thought about doing something that, uh, that would be quite different than what we'd ever done before. Um, so we approached one of our community partners, Unity, which is a hip-hop program um, for youth, and Ryerson University to uh, conduct the research. The three organizations met together and came up with this concept of bringing uh, youth together who have experienced trauma to learn hip-hop as a way to express the feelings that they were having, the symptoms they were experiencing, the trauma that was held in the body. We believe hip hop as a style of dance is really effective and a powerful tool to work with children and youth who have experienced trauma because if you understand the history and the culture around hip hop, you realize that it is a style of dance that has many different elements that originated as a child and youth movement. It was created in the 70s, 80s, 90s by young people who were experiencing a lot of different types of oppression, struggle, and trauma, like whether it was named that way or not. Uh, a lot of young people uh, find themselves uh, lost and they don't really identify with anything around them, uh, feeling in some cases that uh, they're not worth anything or they don't belong into anything. And that's what uh, hip hop has done for a lot of marginalized youth all around the world is, is to provide that voice and really identify it with something that they love to do, especially with, um, with identifying as a dancer. Like you can probably call yourself, I am a dancer, I am an artist. And that's really powerful to connect that to oneself and be proud of the creations that, you, that, uh, that are made through the art forms of hip hop. So everything we've done from start to finish is very trauma-informed um, from the initial call to the youth to having them come into intake and then having them go through the program and, and debrief at the end. Um, what's great about the program is that um, because the curriculum is based around dance, we've weaved in some grounding work and kind of used some of the skills we've learned throughout trauma therapy to um, address trauma in a different way. So the dance program allows them to have an alternative form of therapy. And it's great because we know that trauma is held in the body. And dance actually is able to um, work with the body to work on the trauma. So in the dance curriculum, the Soul Expressions dance curriculum, weeks one to three really focus on the self. And then from weeks four to six, they're starting to interact with one another. And then in weeks, seven to ten, they really start to focus on the community aspects behind hip-hop and tying it into other art forms. We don't share what everyone's gone through, but when we do our intake, we make it very clear that everyone in the program has experienced some form of trauma. Um, whether it be um, experience with violence, abuse, or bullying, all of our youth are coming in with that understanding. So they know that there's a community of people that are you know, experiencing similar things and that they can connect on a different level with them. And it allows them to have that feeling of like, we're not alone. I'm not alone in this. And um, through conversations that we have each week, different topics that we address in the group, um, they're able to f further learn that. What we have found so far, although not statistically significant because of the small number of participants in the study at this stage, is that trauma symptoms have decreased over the course of the program, including anxiety and depression and post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. What's been more prevalent is that those individuals that come into the program with high levels of anxiety and depression show the most amount of change in terms of decreasing symptoms. So we've gotten some great feedback from some of our youth on their experiences of group. Um, and we've got some great quotes. Uh, one in particular was a youth just saying that it was the first session. They came in very anxious and nervous uh, to start a new program and to meet new friends. And within about 15 minutes of starting and getting moving and, and kind of laughing and interacting with their peers, they just said that they'd never been in a program like this where they felt immediately comfortable in their space and safe. 
So they were experiencing exactly what we'd hoped for the group and especially on the first session that's pretty rare to have someone come in and feel immediately safe and, and ability with the ability to express themselves freely. Some of these uh, teens, they, they see things that, that uh, not an average 15, 12 year old, 17 year old would see in the world. You know, and, and they have to hold that within themselves and just being involved at that one hour a week or just that moment, just uh, having that encouragement from a, from a mentor or a teacher or an instructor goes a long way in terms of uh, helping the self-esteem stay, stay up and, uh, and just really enjoying yourself. The impact of the groups has been tremendous. The youth that are coming to the programs are asking to continue again. They're really, really responding well to the hip-hop medium. And I think one of the things that this project has allowed us to do is to provide services to youth much, much more quickly than we were able to in the past. We knew that we had youth on our wait list that were waiting for anywhere up to nine, ten months for trauma services and experiencing symptoms at the same time. So being able to offer them the group either as an alternative to more traditional therapy or as something that can provide support during the wait list has made a, tr a tremendous difference.